Hi guys, so we're back. It's been a few weeks since we've uh, posted a video, just because uh, there's been so much going on for both of us. I want to just keep you updated on my progress. I'm not doing the show now in June uh, for a number of reasons. However, I am doing a show called Muscle Mania in September, September the 2nd actually, which is a week before Mark's bodybuilding show. Um, which, to be fair, works for us, uh, better for us, to, so we can diet together. And, you know, we've got, we've got the journey all the way through then. When we decided at the beginning of the year that we were going to both do shows, it's disappointing uh, for both of us that uh, they were so uh, far apart from each other. But that's what, at, at that present time, that's what it was. So, um, you know, I, I didn't have really had that much time to, to um, get ready. However, uh, things have happened uh, and uh, I've made a decision that I will be doing the um, show Muscle Mania in September, which gives me uh, about 17 weeks. So that's good. I mean, it's not gonna really gonna change these videos because we're doing it all the way through up until my show and then onwards to uh, Mark's show. So in a way, this will be better because we're still progressing at the same rate at the same time and our dietary uh, requirements are gonna be similar. And especially when we start really um, really being strict up until our show so we get ripped shredded ready for the show so yeah you know i'm sorry that um i've, I've uh, sort of made a decision on that show and i was stressing a little bit because i didn't have much much time to get ready for this other show uh because i had a couple of weeks off for not being up well and um to, it just makes more sense for me uh so all good I've got lots to bring you and uh, we will continue to do that. So, speak soon. Exercise tip of the day is going to be the chin up. Chin ups are great upper body exercise to develop mus muscle in the lats and the latissimus dorsi, as well as strength, and in the biceps and the forearms. We're going to go through the teaching points today so you get the most out of the exercise. So, with the set up position, you make sure your hands are in a supinated position. Now, don't get this. Uh, mixed up with a pull-up. A pull-up is in a pronated position, okay, which is another great upper body exercise. But when you do it from the chin up, you're going to get, actually get more activation in the lats. A lot of people, a lot of guys think that you're doing a pull-up, you're going to get more. You go a wider position in the hands, and you get more in the lats. In actual fact, you activate more muscle fibers from the lats and the back muscles in a chin up position, as well as incorporating or activating the biceps and the forearms. So in a set up position, you make sure in a good stretch out position, so you get the full length, full range of the movement. So your lats are on a, on a stretch, and then you start the movement, you lift that lift the rib cage up, and lift that, as well as the chest. So once you come up, you lift that chest up, look up slightly, so you get full retraction in the shoulder blades, and really activate the muscles where you should be working. So it's a controlled movement. So control on the way up one more time, and then slow on the way down so you get as much activation in both the, uh, the elevation or activation on the way up and lowering it down. Don't just drop down, control it down with the back muscles and the arms as well. So focus on mind to muscle. So think about the exercise you're doing and the muscles you're working. And focus on not just the arms, focus on pulling from the back muscles, the lats, okay? So you're gonna get as much out of the exercise as possible. So I've just arrived at Monster Gym, it's just about 10 o'clock and I'm here to see my coach Lee Williams from Body Synergy. Um, today's really about posing, uh, Lee wants to go through the compulsory poses with me um, so he can see how I pose, how I move and he can help me put together a, a posing routine for the show. Uh, also it will be a chance for us to catch up, he hasn't seen me for quite a while, it's been 14 weeks I think since he's seen me um, and I've been under his instruction with regards to the training program and uh, changing some things with my nutrition so it'd be good to see really where he thinks I've, I'm at if I've made any progress hopefully he thinks I have um, and we're just going to go in and see what he's got to so say. He's just put me on the scales just going to see where I'm at for, um, based on where I was last time which was first week in January. Just before Christmas, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. There we go. All right. So we've got your body weight at just a little bit above what we had last time. Mm-hmm. And body fat uh, is exactly the same as it was last time. Cool. So I haven't got fatter. Hasn't got fatter. 
you start to go up in muscle mass, which is good. Cool. <clears throat> you put about a pound of mass, which is probably down to your increasing hydration. So we're hydrating you better. Yeah. So your muscle mass is getting getting bigger. So basically, it's, it's saying you've put on a tiny bit of mass, but not a lot, not a significant amount to increase your calories at this stage. Okay. But I know you said you were, you were currently slightly overeating what Definitely. we'd set down for you. Yeah. So the consequences of that, we haven't lost any weight, and we know that that level for you is a good maintenance yeah. diet to keep you on, to keep you the weight you need to be at, really, sure. at the minute. Okay. So if we just implement the full diet when you want to go to make that next step, yeah, <coughs> it should start pulling you down quite nicely. Yeah. Okay. So I presume it's just knock out the extra little bits. Yeah. I mean, we've got uh, May twentieth is your um, yeah because we're six, for starting. sixteen weeks. Out yeah, and that's sixteen weeks from the show, so it should be right. So I've just finished with Lee. Very constructive hour. Um, really helpful. Um, I didn't film any of the posing because. Um, Lee's posing room has now been made into a boxing area, like MMA area, and we have had to use the disabled toilets. But they've put big mirrors all up on the wall so you can use it as a posing room. But it was really odd lighting, um, and you know it was a toilet, so <laughs> so I didn't film that. Plus, it was me in my pants, not looking my best. So um, so I'm going to save that, keep you guys in suspense. Um, but anyway, Lee was happy. We worked through a bunch of stuff. We worked through all the compulsories. He um, he tweaked those for me. Took a few pictures so I know exactly how I can practice. And um, went through some poses and some shapes that made my physique look better. Figured out the ones that made me look skinny. Um, and yeah, really just going to wait for June and Lee's going to come down hopefully with a completed posing routine and give that to me we can practice and go through it and then really I can just spend the 16 week diet practicing posing um, it never fails to surprise me how difficult it is posing it's knackering and I really started to cramp up especially in the hamstring area but um, the more I practice the better that will get and um, the less kind of cramping I'm going to get in the muscles which means when I do finally get on stage it shouldn't, I don't think it's going to be easy, but it will certainly feel a lot more natural and uh, my muscles will be much more uh, used to holding those kind of poses. So, so yeah, all in all, really productive hour. Uh, sorry you guys didn't get to see me in my pants, but um, maybe another time. See ya. Yeah.